Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants from Come On Now, the podcast. This is your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomont. Before we jump into the today's content, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Come On Now Podcast and on X at Come On Now Pod. And please do subscribe to YouTube. Click that bell. Get all of our newest content as we are popping off stuff every single day now. Pushing out lengthy videos, shorts, you name it. You're helping our channel grow. We greatly appreciate it. Greatly appreciate the support. And we're going to keep coming forward. We appreciate you and we're going to keep bringing you the best content we can. Let's talk about Cheryl Reeve. The Minnesota Lynx coach, Cheryl Reeve. She is now part of the Caitlin Clark Hate Brigade. Yep, I said it. She's part of the Hate Brigade. Cheryl Reeve, the coach that didn't want Caitlin Clark on the U.S. Olympic team. She can sit here and say she had nothing to do with that decision. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear that the head coach of a team does not have any decision-making power in choosing players. Not on your team in, the, in, the, in, the, in an NBA team or a WNBA team, not in the Olympic team. You're not going to tell me that Cheryl Reeve has nothing to do with the fact that Caitlin Clark is not on that U.S. Olympic team beyond those five people who were on that committee. But Cheryl Reeve. Saw a full building today at the Target Center. A sold-out crowd. A team that averages 8,000 fans a game saw a sold-out crowd. 18,000, something like that. It was a home game for Indiana. Cheryl Reed had an opportunity to see the Caitlin Clark effect. She got an opportunity to see that the people that are in your building are not there to see you play when they're coming to see Caitlin Clark. When you're playing Caitlin Clark, they're coming to see her play. They want to see her win. They're here to see the Indiana Fever led by Caitlin Clark. They don't give two Rudy Poo candy ass poops about the Minnesota Lynx. And Cheryl Reeve was asked before the game about her thoughts on people cheering for that other side in the arena today. To which she replied, I don't give two shits. The reporter says, how about one? She says, not even one shit. Well, then. (laughs) Man, maybe you should give one shit or two shits. Because you game planned for that player and you lost. Why would you be so dismissive and disrespectful to this player? Myron Metcalf asked Cheryl Reeve from ESPN about Caitlin Clark on the future national teams. And she says, why the hell would I answer a national team question? I'm wearing links and I'm the head coach of the national team, but I'm not the chair of the committee. Anybody want to venture into anything else? What in the hell is wrong with this woman? Yes, you are the national team coach. And yes, you are playing the player who everyone thinks should be on the national national team next month in Paris. Hell, this month in Paris. You sound like a freaking hater, Cheryl Reeve. You damn well know that people are paying to see Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark broke one of your players' ankles today on a crossover, got to an easy layup that gave the Indiana Fever a 67-65 lead. And Cheryl Reeve took a timeout. Wouldn't you love to have that woman on your team, Cheryl Reeve? Cheryl Reeve also said that everyone knows that the reason... Everyone knows that the reason why our teams around the league are having sellouts are because of Caitlin Clark, Indiana Fever coming to town. She said that post game following the loss. That's not the narrative that's being pushed by ESPN. The narrative from ESPN is that the league is growing. The league's improving. 
the league is getting so much more attention because of all these ancillary things that are not Caitlin Clark. Newsflash. At least it seems like you finally recognize that part because your contemporaries at ESPN, or I'm sorry, your media friends at ESPN, who have been so anti Caitlin Clark for a good part of this season, seem to think that Angel Reese is why and Rikea. Rikea out of the Sparks is why, or Cameron Brink is why. All these other rookies are why. But at least you recognize that the why was in your building today, and you saw what happened to the attendance in your building. The attendance in this league when she plays is double the average of the league. Her games are moved to different arenas. When these teams play in Band-Aid boxes. And Cheryl Reeve is sitting here saying she doesn't give two shits. You should give two shits, Cheryl Reeve. You should care that your team has so little local support that the building had 10,000 Fever fans in there. And that just shows such a lack of understanding and logic that you don't give two shits. What you should have done is giving them tickets away for free to people in Minnesota. You should have taken whatever tickets that were still available from the typical 7,000 you sell or 8,000 you sell and given those tickets away to people from Minnesota to try to keep the Indiana Fever fans out of the building. So you should give two shits or one shit. You should. You should give a shit that Caitlin Clark is in there and bring in an entire droves of fans to see her play in your home building. But guess what? She's done it to everybody this year, except there's been no coach who's been so dumb as to say how you don't care what she's doing. You sound bitter. You sound petty. You sound like all these other freaking haters who seem to have a bone to pick with the woman that has made the WNBA relevant today. The woman who's making people like me, people like my partner Nick, people like the millions of men around the nation turn on their television to watch these games. She's the one that's doing it. So you should give two shits. You should care. You should absolutely care about what Caitlin Clark has done for your league. She is, you should absolutely care that Caitlin Clark should be on this Olympic team. Did you listen to the crowd at the end of that game with 10.8 seconds left? 79-74, the place went berserk for the Indiana Fever. They were going crazy. In Minnesota, it's not like Minnesota's a bad team. It's not like Minnesota hasn't had WNBA championships. It isn't like Minnesota didn't have Caitlin Clark's hero, Maya Moore, on that team. Are you freaking kidding me? This old guard of bitter Bettys that exists in this world against this young lady drive me absolutely freaking crazy. It's like good grief. Like what in the world? Cheryl Reeve is in that group with Cheryl Swoops. These old people that don't seem to appreciate what this young woman's doing. Newsflash, the game is changing. The game has changed. And you folks who have a problem with how the game has changed, this isn't like the NBA changing from shooting a normal amount of threes to shooting nothing but threes and erasing positions. This is a woman who's, who's changing the game to push pace, push tempo. while also shooting parking lot jump shots. Inspiring little girls around the country 
to shoot parking lot jump shots. When you're six foot tall and you're not six foot four. Cheryl Reeve hates Caitlin Clark. There's no, she has a massive dislike for Caitlin Clark. <clears throat> it's crazy, man. It's freaking crazy. It's crazy. Caitlin Clark signs autographs for kids on road at road arenas before and after games. I tell you, you should be embracing what this young woman's brought to your league. But instead, you say stuff like "I don't give two shits." Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I, I don't. I don't know. Maybe I'm the. Maybe I'm the crazy one. But people like Cheryl Reeve, people like Cheryl Swoops, at least Cheryl Swoops finally, well, the Cheryls, look at that. Maybe Cheryl Swoops finally woke up because, you know, she did say when she was asked to tell the truth, she told the truth about who should be in her all-star team, and she picked Caitlin Clark. So maybe she actually, you know, maybe she just showed her face in the fact that she has been lying the entire time uh, with her with her rhetoric. But holy Lord, this Cheryl Reeve thing. I, 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 the fact that a coach would say that before a game, good Lord, man. You're the Team USA coach. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Mind-blowing. Mind-blowing to see this type of attitude. They're so mad. I'm sure Cheryl Reeve was thrilled that she stopped Caitlin Clark from tying the double doubles record for points and assists. I'm sure she was ecstatic about that. <clears throat> Guess what, Cheryl? You lost the game. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. She is so mad. She's so mad. And now she's even more mad because Caitlin Clark just busted her ass on her home floor. After playing three quarters of really poor basketball. And thanks to her own coach, largely. But after three quarters of poor basketball, all it took Caitlin Clark was one quarter to bust your ass. Another bitty, bitter, bitter Betty. Cheryl Reeve. The newest member officially of the Caitlin Clark Hate Brigade. That's all I got. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow us at Come On Now Podcast on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And Come On Now Pod on X. Come on now.